the AFC South. The Colts, directly after the Super Bowl, got Eagles offensive coordinator Shane Steichen. Um, obviously, he's been leading a high-powered offense for the past year and a half. He took over play calling duties in the middle of last season, got them all the way to the Super Bowl. They put up uh, 35 points in the Super Bowl um, against the Chiefs. They just fell a little bit short. This is another hire that, that I really do like. I, I think that um, with the Colts, very similar to the Panthers, I think they just have to go young. And, and I think that that's probably what they're leaning towards doing. Um, the only downside of this hire, I, I think, um, is that we're going to have to see how he does with a non-mobile quarterback. Like, I think the Colts are one of those teams. Like, I don't, I don't think they're going to be able – or, you know, be willing to trade up to number one to get uh, to wind up getting Bryce Young, who's a more mobile guy, but he's, you know, still not incredibly mobile. Maybe they you know, are waiting for Anthony Richardson to fall um, and, and try to get a, a very mobile guy. But I think that's what would fit Shane Steichen's offense best. Again, granted, he could very well be a, a fantastic play caller with him in the pocket, as we saw um, kind of, you know, in the Super Bowl, like Jalen Hurts. Uh, a lot of his, his stuff, he was very good uh, in the pocket. He was very good within the pocket throughout the season. It wasn't like he was just, it wasn't like a Lamar Jackson type of season where it was just all a lot of like running and wild plays. Jalen Hurts was good from inside the pocket. So um, I, I guess we'll have to wait and see on that. But it, it, again, it is one of the, it's another hire that I like within this head coaching cycle. I, I think that it, it causes a lot of problems for the Eagles. We'll talk about Jonathan Gannon in just a little bit, but um, I really like the hire for the Colts. And again, he's, he's now coming into a division. The only, you know, another one of the tough things is that now that division seems stacked with head coaches, right? Obviously Doug Peterson, uh, Mike Vrabel. Uh, now you're talking about D'Amico Ryans and Shane Steich. And I think it's going to be, it's going to be an absolute bloodbath in that division. Right. And just real quick, Mike Vrabel is another defensive minded guy that we forgot to yeah. mention. But he's also a culture setter, a tone setter, a former player. So D'Amico Ryans kind of fits along that same mold. But going back to this, Shane Steichen, um, I, I absolutely love the hire as well. You know, and I know you can only say that so much uh, about all these teams hiring, you know, coaches. But I, look, on, on, honestly, I really like this move. Um, whenever a, a first time head coach, you know, comes into the fold, I like to look at, you know, their history, but not, you know, in the roles that they've, you know, had, but in some of the guys and the quarterbacks that they've had a chance to work with. And, and so Shane Steichen, he also had, I think it was a year or two. No, he had a couple years with uh, with the Chargers, and so he's worked with Philip Rivers. He's also worked with Justin Herbert. I think he was there for Justin Herbert's rookie season, and so not only does he have experience playing or coaching or, or you know curating offenses for you know the Eagles and Jalen Hurts, but he's also worked with Justin Herbert. He's also worked with Philip Rivers, and so there's a great history there of, of working alongside you know bigger, taller, strong arm quarterbacks, and so I think when I look at this move, the Colts are. Probably looking at an Anthony Richardson or a Will Levis. I mean, they those two kind of fit the mold of the guys that Shane Steichen has been around. Now, if he's willing to break that mold and, and take a CJ Stroud or a Bryce Young, then more power to him, right? I'd love to see him excel in that. But he's also another guy that's been heralded as an offensive guru, as another offensive mastermind, as another guy um, that, you know, that could work with quarterbacks. And so I think with the Colts, I mean, I'm 100% with you. I mean, I think, you know, their only option here is to really go young at quarterback. I mean, you've had – with the last six, seven, maybe eight years since Andrew Luck retired, you've had a revolving door, just a carousel of, of quarterbacks, and it's just been an absolute disaster. Nothing has worked out, and I'm pretty sure Jim Irsey has gotten completely tired of that. And so unless the Derek Carr comes calling along for the cheap, possibly, and, and they're not as enamored with these quarterbacks that we all would like to think that they are, you know, at the top of the draft, then um, maybe that's the only way I see them going to veteran. But for the most part, I do like to hire. Um, like I mentioned, he's an offensive guy. He's a young guy. He's worked with other quarterbacks in the league, and I think the Colts got a good one here.